so today our topic is changes in state of matter so now the state of matter may be changed by heating or cooling it okay so the state of matter change okay by heating or cooling so next so our first state is freezing okay now what is freezing so here number one point is when water is put into the freezer okay it changes into ice so when water put in freezer uh, in refrigerator okay so in freezer it changes into ice okay so next thus on cooling matter changes from liquid state to solid state this process is called freezing so from liquid state to uh, solid state okay the changing okay the liquid is changes into from liquid to solid okay so that process is called freezing so you can see here so liquid state to solid state uh, this process is called freezing so example is ice okay so when you put uh, water in freezer the water will change us into ice okay so that is an example of uh, freezing so here for example formation of ice cream for from milk so the ice cream formation okay from milk uh, it is it is also the one example of freezing and another example is ice melt okay into water this is not an example okay the water uh, which is changes into ice this is an example okay so next is so now you can see the pictures here the liquid changes into ice you can see here okay so the, the, the now the bottle of water is changing into solid that is ice ice is solid so this is called freezing is, okay is this clear so another so now next point is melting now what is melting now melting means the matter changes from solid state to liquid state when it is heated this process is called melting so now the matter which changes from solid to liquid okay so for an example ice okay now ice melt if ice melt it is converted into liquid yes or no ice is solid so ice melt when ice melt it converted into liquid that is water so water is liquid so this is called melting okay so for example ice changes into liquid when heat okay is apply or when ice is kept in room temperature so when when heat when heat is applied in ice the ice is uh, changes into liquid okay or when ice is keep in room temperature then the ice is all then ice also get uh, melt okay so this is an example of melting so now here it is because the temperature of the surrounding is higher than the temperature of the ice so why ice is melt in room temperature okay because the temperature of the surrounding is higher than the temperature of that ice okay that's why ice melt in room temperature okay or ice cream also melt uh, in surrounding okay so uh, these are the examples of this melting so now you can see the pictures so now here it is one ice okay now which is melt and it's converted into liquid so this is an example of melting another example now you can see here the ice is melt into water so this is also the example of melting okay so next now next is vaporization now what is vaporization when water is heated it changes into water vapor or steam okay which is the gaseous form of water so thus on heating matter changes from liquid state to gaseous state so now here when water is heated okay so when you boil water in uh, kitchen okay at that time the water boils okay so now that water converted into gases okay that is vapor state vapor means uh, gaseous state okay so that means the liquid changes into vapor that is called vaporization okay you can see here the process by which liquid changes to its gaseous form is called vapor um, vaporization okay so, or it is also called evaporation so i i will show you one pictures so here it is uh, water is boiling here okay so in this container here it is water is boiling so now here the vapor is coming out okay so now that liquid is converted into okay 
vapor that means this vapor is the gaseous state okay this is the this is an gaseous state so liquid is changing into vapor this is called vaporization or evaporation so another pictures here you can see here here it is evaporation okay so when this sea water is get heated by sunlight okay the water is start to vaporize okay or evaporate now it will goes off okay to the atmosphere so this process is called uh, vaporization okay so next is condensation okay now what is condensation when water vapor or steam is cool it changes into water now that uh, while vaporization now that vapor okay or, or steam when it is cool it changes into again water okay again if you uh, if we uh, if we cool the vapor then it will it will again convert it into from vapor to water that process is called condensation okay so thus on cooling matter changes from gaseous state to liquid state this process is called condensation okay is this clear that means condensation means uh, from vapor okay vapor changes into liquid that is called condensation okay while cooling so now i will show you one picture so, so now you can see here the water is vaporized here okay now again this water vaporized okay water vapor uh, now that is here it is cool okay now at it will form your water again okay now this vapor is condensed here okay so uh, if condense here the vapor again changes into water so condensation means the vapor changes into water okay that is called condensation so here also the pictures so now you can see here here it is vapor is going up okay so now again this vapor changes into water okay so that process is called condensation okay so now next you can see here the water is going up okay from here evaporate now your condensation okay so now condensation means the water vapor you can see your water vapor okay wave like structure again this water vapor converted into water that is called condensation okay so so after this after condensation okay our next state of matter is sublimation okay so now what is sublimation sublimation means solids that directly changes from solid to gaseous state this process is called sublimation so the, for the example camphor and naphthalene are example of sublimation so sublimation means uh, the solid directly changes into gaseous state okay this is called sublimation so now naphthalene ball now uses of naphthalene ball okay so naphthalene balls are put in woolen cloth to keep them safe from insect okay so the now i will show you the pictures of this camphor and naphthalene okay so here are the, uh, here are the pictures of this naphthalene okay this uh, this one this one is called naphthalene balls and this is called camphor okay which is used in our home okay so this solid directly changes into gaseous state okay so this is called sublimation okay is this clear so now another topic is solute solvent and solution okay so now here it is so first we will learn one by one okay so the first one is solute so now here it is solute so now the solute means sugar salt are the examples of solute okay so here it is sugar and here it is salt so these are the example of solute okay so solute means sugar or salt is also called sol uh, sorry sugar or salt is also called solute okay so solute means sugar or salt okay so after this solvent now solvent means water water is also called solvent okay so now next is solution now solution means when salt plus water is add that is called solution okay so salt is also called solute and water is also called solvent when these two substances add okay or mix it will form solution so the for example you can see here here it is solute now solute means either it is sugar or salt so when this salt is added in this solvent solvent means water so add the, uh, when add in this solvent it will form solution so that solution is called either when you add sugar here then it is called sugar solution or when you add salt then it is called salt solution okay so is this clear so after this 
here our soluble substances okay so soluble substances means substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances okay so those substances which dissolve dissolve means mix in water okay which dissolve in water that is called soluble substances so for example sugar and salt are soluble substances so when you add uh, sugar or salt in water and stir that so uh, stir that water then that sugar or uh, sugar or salt will be dissolve in water okay so you yeah, for example if you add sugar here okay in water that means it is solute if you add this this solute in this solvent okay then it will form solution that that solution is called sugar solution now can you see here sugar here it is sugar uh, now here you can see sugar or salt no why because this sugar is dissolved in this water okay so this is called soluble substances so soluble substances are those substances which are dissolved in water it's called soluble substances okay so the for the examples are uh, salt sugar are the examples of soluble substances okay so after this here it is insoluble substances okay so substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances for the example chalk soil sand etc so those those substances which is not dissolved in water are called insoluble substances for example soil sand chalk etc okay so now you can see your picture now in this picture here it is dust of chalk okay now dust of chalk is not dissolved in water so here we can see the chalk dust in the bottom portion okay and in the top portion also uh, because it will not dissolve in water okay another example sand now you can see here adding sand in this water okay <coughs> excuse me adding uh, adding in this water now this sand will not dissolve in this water okay so that's why it is called insoluble substances insoluble substances mean those substances now this uh, this soil are uh, substances okay this soil substances is not dissolve in water so this is called insoluble substances okay so thank you